everyone and welcome to Dragon Ball Z League 2024 season episode 2 of week 8. I'm Ryan. In summer, it's a sibling stream and we just had an absolutely intense couple of matches uh, before this one. Check out yesterday's episode if you haven't already. No spoilers. Uh, but we have our second divisional of the week coming up here today. Yes. And uh, it's right here. Yes. Match number three. Uh, hey, that's really weird. We have another mirrored win loss. Uh, GT at five and two. Androids at two and five. Two and five. <laughs> it's surprising that those are the records in question because you, not to put down GT in any way, but based on previous season performance you would expect androids to be the one that is five and two yeah maybe, um, maybe also, gt looking at, at, at like four and three but you know androids are usually I'm, so I'm much just, more dominant i'm just looking at our map select screen here and i'm like okay so we've got androids versus androids which one's the androids They're uh all androids. i'll spoiler i'll spoiler alert uh the androids are the ones with the bioorganic guy Meanwhile, GT is the one with the android leading off. Yes, because <laughs> why not make things more confusing than they need to be? So, GT uh, is running uh, Super 17 to start. He's running Attack Plus 1 series, Master Throw, Dragon Beat, Light Body, and Combo Master. They've put a five Zennies into boost this uh, week. Um, and then... Uh, Androids have put a power rage boost on Cell here, so he's running defense plus two, serious light body, Dende's healing, latent energy, power of rage, as mentioned, and Broly AI. Uh, power rage, a really good pick for Cell, I feel like. His, uh, his B2s have good clash potential, uh, so there's a lot of uh room for that to come into play there's <laughs> our first grab it doesn't do anything because he's an android yeah i think uh, the, good I, call I, starting assuming they would lead with cell yeah i think the main reason um, for the power of rage boost on cell is because his b2 is drain life cell so he uses that gets yeah. maybe into a clash he can immediately then use it again um so yeah and but just not a great matchup for cell right now <laughs> Well, if he tries to do uh, do that B2 against seven, Super 17 here, uh, at least if he gets into a Clash, he can win the Clash and get some damage off with it. That is true, but... So uh, there's something there, too. Uh, Super 17 uh, really shutting down Cell for the most part, and Cell thinks better of it and tags out. Now we've got... Wait, there's two 17s on the field. Well, technically, if you want to get really technical, there's three. <laughs> Well, there could be three, because uh, Cell could transform by using one. Well, uh, no. Great Balls of Fire. <laughs> there was three, because Speaking Super out. Super 17 is made up by Android 17, and then Hell version Android 17. Oh, right, right. <laughs> okay, well, still, so t we might theoretically see a fourth 17. Um, by the way, uh, Super 17's down. Uh Regular Android 17, by the way, is running Super Plus One, Key Control, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, Savior, Focus Shot, Chao Tzu AI, uh, Hold Still Please does not do anything because he did not hold still. Um, the Crab Shooter will do something. Nope, Maybe it got absorbed by the forward. Photon. Um, Sin Shenron running Super Plus One, Indignation, Light Body, Fighting Spirit, Dendez Healing, Savior, and a boost in Kabito Secret Arts and Yadrobi AI. So he could transform at any time. He probably won't for a while yet, but he could. It's good that he at least um, has the stocks so that if he tags at low health, yeah. he could immediately uh, transform when transform tagging back in. Transform when he in. comes back in. Yeah. Yep. And he can hit max power more frequently, too, um, in the meantime, <laughs> if he chooses to. No B2 connections. Um, Not allowed. Yeah, no, we don't we don't like the beams here. We want the fisticuffs. Dragons versus androids. That's how you do it. God, I really want to know how strong. Uh, I should I should do a damage um, thing on Sin Shenron's uh, grab because we we discovered that 
grabs Ooh, that. Right to the face with Great Balls of Fire and a tag. In comes Ginyu. <laughs> Immediate self-harm. Self and he transforms. Um, Ginyu, by the way, is running. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, attack plus one, quick pass attack, fighting spear, Dende's healing, Kapito's secret arch, Ginyu AI. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that was definitely uh, a good amount of good use of the Cleaver Secret Arts to immediately uh, self harm. Uh oh. Um, max power from Omega's Shenron. Um, Ooh, does not eliminate him. There a doesn't kill. That's an ult. Minus power energy ball. That is an ult right to Ginyu's face. And the Earth has blown. Uh, oh God, that's twenty thousand. The Earth 000. is gone. Sixteen k. Nope. 21. <laughs> oh, 21 and a half. And he gets the tag. I mean, the grab. grabs are like tags to the face. All right. Ginyu, you, you just need to dance. Oh, jeez. Dance, body change. No. Oh, jeez. Is he going to win? Oh. He wins the clash. He could throw out another minus, pow minus energy ball. Uh, that's going to be us. Uh, Cyborg Cow is in... Dragon Thunder misses uh, Ag Vega. Now it's just died to the Hidden Blade. Cyborg Cow running P plus 2 for minus 1, launch support, indignation, savior, Kabito, Secret Art, and Chaozu AI. Yeah, well that's... done by uh, Shenron here. Very uh, good job. Cyborg Cow is always a good performer, though, so there's still very good uh, chance here. Final Flash misses. <laughs> Same for Vegeta running attack plus two, defense minus one, serious quick fast attack, launches for power rage and trunks AI. Um, better than your Dodon. Uh, hits for 5,700. Uh, by the way, uh, GT leading the poll 7128. Well, um, Dodon's so, gonna hit. Uh, there we go. Yeah. He's, he's doing the work needed to bring things back a little bit. Um, he's hitting those Dodons. He's after imaging away. Um, he's not really letting Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta hit him much. Uh, doesn't quite hit that Dodon, but, you know, his Dodons don't cost a lot. Nope. That's why the towels are, like, and, uh, really great as characters in the game. The, Just that two-bar quick fire. The towels are ridiculously good in this game. It's surprising how consistently good they are no matter who you throw them up against they seem to always just do well yeah i am curious how uh what is um, it sparking plus or whatever they're Cooper calling it Dodon. uh oh, oh final shine that's dog. his ult that misses He's not gonna hit yeah no one hits an ult um he he tried to hit the ult but uh he waited um until was no longer in the animation doesn't hit the spear breaking cannon and there's the dodon. dodon i i and, do uh, i do wonder with sparking plus or whatever that new game that is coming out uh if they're gonna have cyborg tau in it and if or just tau in it and if they'll have tau transform from general to cyborg i don't know i don't feel like uh it's a transformation kind of thing with him like i don't feel like they would do that um, by the way, uh, massive tag advantage for the androids here, uh, despite uh, everything. Um, it's still not an easy... Uh, it's it's still anyone's match here. Um, I think... Uh, yeah, especially with Baby in the back. Like... Yeah, because it's, 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 it's all up to the Baby Man now. Um, the Baby Man is running Super Plus 2, Key Minus 1... Launches for Dragon Spirit, Savior, Dende's Healing, and a boost in the form of Indignation. I'm Baby! AI. And there I'm Baby <laughs> hits. Um, he is Baby. I just want to swaddle him. Uh, two bars left for uh, Androids against uh, basically all of Baby, because he just did a health flip back. I'm Baby! Uh, I'm Baby again. <laughs> Aw, look at the little baby. <laughs> baby man he do he do the things with the finger he goes boop and he eats some photons <laughs> that's okay it just makes him more indignant 
I'm babe. <laughs> Boop. And 17's dead. A baby just booped 17 in the nose and killed him. Uh, well. And it's all... It's, hey, look, there's the fourth 17. No, the fourth no, 17 wait, already existed. <laughs> oh, I thought he... Oh, the fourth 17 was already... Was sell all along. <laughs> Well, no more health gain from Cell by grabs. Um, yep. So that's um, kind of a one benefit more transformation, for GT. Though. Yeah, because um, uh, Baby can be grabbed for health in P in uh, Cell's earlier forms, but uh, not anymore. Um, you know, I guess the real Android 17s were the friends we made along the way. I was going to say, the real babies were the friends we made along the way. Four Android 17s in this match, when you consider Cell had eaten one already. <laughs> oh my gosh. And, uh, nice teleport battle. Wow, that was, uh, this that should was go to Cell. a lot of good... Cell should win this. Um, it, it is another one. Um, one of them needs to hit... There's an ult. If it hits, Cell's done. Nope. Transform. Gets all that key back, though. He's a super baby. Super baby, too. You might even call him a baby genius. <laughs> super baby genius. Or, or the oh, boss oh. Baby. Very close match, Boop. though. Boop Cell in the nose, too. And that's the end. Uh, GT wins thanks to the power of Boop. <laughs> yes, booping the baby. Uh, so GT goes up to six and two. Androids, uh, very shockingly, go down to two and, and six. six. So wow. uh, not um, great, but still not out of it. So they always have a chance. Yep. Yeah, We're going to get, do. hey, we finally have our first match that is not going to be a mirrored win-loss record. We have Derp at Woo! four and three. And Earth Defenders at five and two. So no matter what happens, everyone's going to be positive. Stop. Yeah, that's you know that's good. Let's let's be positive for once. <laughs> and let's uh, let's go and do this. Uh, Derp and Earth Defenders, uh, both really good teams. Uh, Frost has been an absolute uh, game changer. I feel like for Derp's consistency. I, I, I'll just say it, because I don't care. Frost is a menace. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he's he's a bit of a menace. Um, being a, uh, you know, a modded in character, there's always some worry, I guess, initially, that, like, did they balance him quite right? And I think he's been balanced fairly well, but it's taken some time for people to figure out how to crack the nut that is Frost. Yeah, it, um, it, it, it's that melee combo stun, which imme really it, that is immensely powerful. Starting things off, by the way, Frost is running P plus two, super minus one, serious. <laughs> uh, quick, fast attack, Dende's healing, exquisite skill, light body on Trunks AI, and Krillin running his uh, usual defense plus two, Dende's healing, serious, quick, fast attack, light body, Majin Buu AI. Um, Look at him just uh, put that melee back in Frost's face as soon as he uh, takes it. Um, you know, doing his best to keep things even as he can. Uh, but yeah, that melee stun uh, does make things difficult in that regard, especially uh, when Frost does things like grab you right after he stuns you with the melee combo. Yeah, or, you know, melee combos you, does something to interrupt his own melee combo, and then does another melee combo to extend the stun. Yeah. And it's like, yep. hey, Krillin's brought it up to a tied match at least. Yeah, he has. Again, like I said, Krillin is always the master of, like, take the first hits and, uh, you know, but then come back and get things oh. even again. Um, it's kind of just how Krillin rolls he does really good melee and he is generally pretty consistent at that so usually unless it's like against Spokovich last week he doesn't get stomped too badly yeah there we go brings it right back after that uh 
initial combo. Yep. Because he was, he's... Frost is... Frost will take him down, but Frost is at less than half a bar. That's very good showing. Yeah. And... In comes... Super Saiyan mid Goku running attack plus two defense minus one serious latent energy quick fast attack light body savior dragon spirit and trunks AI takes out frost with minimal damage on his end and in comes 21. She's running uh -oh. super plus one that's an angry Kamehameha right to her face because she's right there no chance to get out of the way 15k um super plus one serious that's a photon wave that hits her 13k she just she just puts it right back on him. Uh, serious indignation, focus shot, launch support, savior, Frieza AI. Both really good uses of uh, savior. Um, what's her ult again? Um, oh, oh, good dodge. I honestly Anyone. don't remember, because I know it's not turn of the chocolate. Um, no, her chocolate is her weak B2. The photon wave's the strong B2. Um, full course something. It's a rush ult. Yeah, delicious full course. Photon wave what misses. Called, I think. Oh, um, she's brought it back to even here with Goku and taken a slight lead. Really working it uh, well. Um, I do love 21. Her look is just so cool. There's the chocolate to kill Goku. I like her like, I quote unquote human form. As a I like both. Like she looks really cool as an evil scientist lady, but also she just looks absolutely adorable as a bubblegum monster girl. <laughs> monster being like, the operative I, word. <laughs> I wish I wish we had her back when Valkyries were still a team. Um Yen is in. He's running defense plus three, attack minus one, fighting spirit, eternal life, Yadro BAI. Um Maybe he'll do his Neo Tribeam at some point. Um, 21 opening up a bit of a lead here now. Uh, she goes down, but... Uh, and it's not much of a lead. It's only about a bar. But uh, maybe Yamcha can open that up some more. Uh, Again, Yamcha. We need, we need the fusion this beam of these with two. The charge. <laughs> uh, defense plus three, attack minus one, fighting spirit, eternal life, chow to AI. Uh... That is the exact same build, yep. except for the AI, as Tien has. Yeah, so we're, we're going to get comfortable here. It's going to be a, a bit of a tank fight. Um, so, yeah. looking at Tien's moveset, I forgot. Did you ever take multivariable calculus? <laughs> I did not. I washed out at Calc 2 because uh, polar coordinates are horrible, and I hate them. Ah. And I don't understand them. Yeah, I got all the way to advanced calculus, and then I had to drop <laughs> Uh, and are slightly favored to win the poll. Uh, looks like a seven to five vote. Ooh. Um, I think I I really want Sparking Plus to give us Yamcha in baseball costume and have baseball costume Yamcha have his uh, ult be the Wolf Fang fastball. <laughs> and present the champ is here. The most giving man in the league, Mr. Satan. Uh, he is running Super Plus 2, Key Minus 1, Indignation, Focus Shop, Fighting Spear, Launch Support, Savior, and Chao to AI. If anyone can melt through Yamcha's massive defense, it's, it's the giant. giving man. Yeah. I know this it's isn't much, but here. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, Mr. Satan. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I could do that I, voice anymore. I can do a Mr. Satan, I, and I can do a Tickle Me Elmo for some reason. Elsa <laughs> is in, running a Tackless One, Indignation, Light Energy, launches for Dende's Healing, Tickle Away I, I He is here to uh, put the hurt on the man who betrayed Team Derp and left them behind this season. Well, only as a loan. Yeah, because he can't... As a, yeah, I I know, he's alone, Wait. but still, I'm sure that Salza feels wrong here, because that was their captain, their mascot. Wait, hold on. I... I might be a little confused for a second. Uh, I need to look something up. <laughs> What's up? 
Um, Which team perspective are we on? Uh, I have no idea. I think we're on. Uh, That's we're on. We're on Derp's perspective yes. here. Uh, Derp is listed first in my build sheets. That would be correct. So. So that's what we should be on, right? Yes. That's why we're behind yeah, it's Salsa. Only, it's only confusing because Mr. Satan means Derp. Uh, by the way, Tien's back in. Salsa did take care of Mr. Satan. Uh, called him a traitor and said, go away. A geometry. <laughs> I mean, hey, and, it's a uh, very close match. Hot damn. It is. Tien very much can do this. Um, it is not over by any means. As uh, we saw uh, fairly well, uh, both uh, Tien and Yamcha, uh, I don't honestly know who really had the edge between the two of them. It just kind of was a tank battle. Yeah. They, they were just trading blows. They were basically even... Um, but the more damage Salsa could do right now, the better for uh, Derp. Derp. Yes. We know which team is which now because Tien is not on Derp. But what if Yamcha comes in? Then whose team Ooh, is Derp? Geometry. I mean, Yamcha, Yamcha is definitely like another one who uh, is Derp through and through, oh. I feel like. KO, Salsa wins for Derp. So uh, they great are. Great job, Earth Defenders. You did well. Yeah, they are now tied record both five and three. Well done. Yeah. Very good. They're Because uh, nobody, nobody is 6 1 right now. So they are currently yeah. top of the league. So, tied for first. Yeah. Tying for first in whatever division that they are currently in. So that is it for episode two make sure to do your usual youtube thing of liking subscribing ringing the bell check out links in the description for tiktok twitter discord website and our twitch channel if you're over on twitch hi hello hopefully that there there is a bot that's providing you all the links that i just uh described uh if not come over to the youtube channel our stuff is in uh the description there description. um i forgot to mention it at the end of the last episode but at the end of the stream and the end uh the end of the stream voting for the all-stars will be taking place so uh the characters that had 50,000k average or higher that were in for at least five weeks you can vote on them in which there will be uh whoever the top 10 people are uh within the votes they will be uh placed in a 5v5 sort of match and some other stuff that ends up happening during the thing yeah we have fun events during the all-star so we look forward to uh, seeing how that shakes out. But until next time, I've been Summer. And I've been Ryan. And we will see you for episode three. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye now.